For the third and final book in my health trilogy, I've been looking at purpose and limiting beliefs because those are two things that are absolutely critical to maintaining overall true 360 degree wellness using a smart wellness approach. And when I ask people what their purpose is, often they find it difficult to, to really think of anything um, because we tend to be in this automated world of getting up, going to work, the jobs, the list, the to-do list, and, and you kind of, you get caught up in this hectic nature of all of this, you know, not very important stuff that takes up loads of our time and doesn't give a lot of time to think about purpose. And I know that having, having come through decades of elite sport, when you've got someone who has a very clear purpose, then it's incredible what they can achieve. And if you also work with someone who has a clear vision of what their purpose is, and you remove any limiting beliefs that they may have about their ability to actually achieve that purpose, then incredible things happen. They start taking care of business. See Elvis Presley here taking TCB, taking care of business. But if you don't know what the business is and you don't know what your purpose is, then it's difficult to take care of it. So really focus in on, on, on short-term goals, medium goals, long-term goals. And I was chatting with the wonderful David Wood uh, recently, the chief exec of Wix. And I was saying about my very, very focused vision and purpose right now to, to, to emulate, um, you know, the, the Steve Jobs of health, to try and help people by accessing content through, through a very, very simple product and a very simple service that also is wrapped with this kind of music wrapper, which Steve Jobs did so well. And I met Steve Wozniak a few years ago and was chatting with him about how he and Steve Jobs started out and in the garage and Steve Woz had this amazing record collection and Steve Jobs would come around and they would listen to records, look at the, on the liner notes on the sleeves and um, you know, figure out how, how to achieve their purpose. And now we are all benefiting from what they did manage to achieve. So I think that there is, we, we need a Steve Jobs of health where we're disrupting, innovating, using the science, using technology. And that is my 100% focus of next year is to act as that Steve Jobs of health and figure out how to take us forward and to stop using the outdated practices that have not produced any healthy nations and use smart wellness technology and a little bit of music to show you exactly how to future proof your wellness and i am working with some incredible people on that vision next year and we will be announcing how we're going to do this through technology in the first part of next year and it's very exciting and i can't wait to tell you <laughs>